Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would sit down and spring, spring? <laughs> and film a bit of a spring get ready with me. And just before I jump into the video, I thought I would let you know that I have a 15% off discount code to use at Cult Beauty. All of the products that I'm using are so many of my favorites and so many new products as well, but they are all available at Cult Beauty and you can get 15% off by using the code CBCOCIAL15. I'll put it up on the screen right now and I'll leave all of the details and any kind of brand exclusions and things like that in the description box below. So now that I've told you the super exciting news about the discount code, I thought I would basically jump straight into this video. I've already straightened and washed my hair. I will show you the products I've used. They're not here, give me two secs. I'm back. So, um, for shampoo and conditioner, I use the Way Thick Hair Shampoo and the Way Thick Hair Conditioner. And my God, these felt so good in my hair. I've got quite a lot of it, it's quite thick. And um, yeah, these worked really, really well. I love the smell of all of the Way products. And then, when I straightened it, I used the Colorwell Dream Cocktail, which is a coconut infused, kind of fluid that you put into your hair and it makes it nice and silky and it's actually heat activated. So the shine that's kind of come through in my hair is because that product is heat activated. So I wanted to do that off camera because, I mean, you guys have seen me straighten my hair so many times, um, but I am actually going to very quickly just tie this back. <laughs> And I actually haven't done my skincare this morning, so I thought I would do that with you guys. The first thing I'm going to do is use an eye cream. This is the Biosense Squalene Peptide Eye Gel. And I've been using this quite a lot in the daytime. And I really love the texture of it, and it's really lightweight. I actually really love Biosense as a brand. This product is really, really nice and lightweight and really nice under makeup. Also, when you're not wearing makeup as well, but... Now that my eye cream is nice and settled into my skin, it's time to hydrate. And for that, I'm going to use a brand new moisturizer. This is the Keys Soul Care Skin Transformation Cream, which is fragrance free. And this brand is actually by Alicia Keys. And I don't know whether you guys remember, but quite a few years ago, she basically went makeup free. And I loved her for that. I was like, she's got so much confidence to just be out at the Grammys, out at all these events, and just living her life makeup free. And I'm actually really, really excited to try this. I haven't actually opened it or anything, so let's have a look together oh my god okay so this is what it looks like i know this is fragrance free but i just wanted to see what it smells like and it doesn't really have much of a smell to it but now ooh, this feels really good it's kind of got like not a super thick texture but it's got like a nice creamy texture to it and i love a good creamy cream so so far i am really really liking this but this is what i'm working with right now one thing for me um skincare prep is just everything for me when it comes to doing my makeup even more so in the spring and summer because i want to make sure that my skin is just looking hydrated and fresh not greasy but just like glowy and dewy so um yeah this is my skin i'll show you guys a little bit up close how it's looking i feel like this is a really cool thing about cold beauty i feel like i can go there to find my brands that i already love and i've owned and used for years but they also have some really cool brands that come on there that are either like exclusive to them they basically source like the best brands um so yeah it's my favorite place to shop uh, and i'm really excited that i get to partner up with them but um yeah now I'm gonna move on to, I think I'm gonna go in with a uh, facial oil only because I love this facial oil. It's like one of my favorites. And that is the Biosense Squalene Vitamin C and Rose Oil. I'm gonna get this onto my face just for that extra hit of hydration before moving on to SPF. Almost done with my skincare, but the last thing I wanna do is pop some SPF on because I'm gonna be using a stick foundation, which is why I'm really, really prepping my skin. SPF is everything. Like, honestly, you should wear it every single day of the year. It doesn't matter if it's sunny or not. But I'm gonna be using this one right here. I've not tried this before, but I've heard so many good things about it. This is from Super Goop, and it's the Play SPF 50 Everyday Sun Lotion with Sunflower Extract. I'm gonna get this onto my face and rub it all in so that we're all protected from the sun, which hopefully comes out this year in full force. Okay, this is actually a beautiful SPF. There's no grey cast whatsoever on my skin and it just melted into it really, really, really nicely. I've just let that sit on my skin for a few minutes and now I'm going to move on to all the makeup. Um, I'm really excited because I've got this Maddie palette from Morphe and I love the eye look on this and I feel like I want to kind of go with this kind of vibe. I know I'm wearing pastel right now so I just thought why not get pastel on my face as well. <laughs> I actually personally love pastel makeup on 
eyes, especially during the springtime. I usually add a little bit in my corner or on my lower lash, but I thought let's go full out and do something a little bit different and colorful. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to do this and I'm excited for the makeup part. I'm gonna start with primer and I'm using this one right here. This is from Milk Makeup and it's the Hydro Grip Primer. I've heard so many amazing things about this. So I'm gonna get this onto my face so it's nice and prepped ready for the foundation. This feels like a really like dense primer. I actually really like it. I, I feel like I've not really tried many things from Milk Makeup, but the first few things that I'm trying, I'm, I'm, I'm really liking. So that is my primer all done. Totally forgot to put lip balm on, so I'm gonna get some of this onto my lips. This is the Huda Beauty Silk Balm. I absolutely love this. I've gone through about two tubes of this. It's honestly such an incredible lip balm. I've been doing this whole thing of doing my concealer before on my base, and I just feel like that way I'm applying less product to my skin. So for concealer, I'm taking the NARS, got a long name. <laughs> The Soft Matte Complete Concealer, and I'm using the shade Light 2.75, and I'm gonna get that onto the usual areas that I like to brighten and highlight my face, and blend it all out as well before moving onto the foundation. This concealer is honestly so good. <laughs> I don't know whether you could tell when I just had done one eye, but um, yeah. I've been loving this concealer recently. It's like been my go-to. But now that I've done this, I'm gonna move straight on to foundation. And I'm only gonna apply onto the areas where I basically still have like my skin showing. So kind of like this area on my forehead and a little bit around my mouth. And I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Stick Foundation. I love this foundation because it is so lightweight on the skin. It still has a really, really good amount of coverage in there. And it's just like a perfect foundation, I think, for spring and summer. Um, you can amp it up and increase the coverage, but I just love adding a few lines here and there and blend that out using my Zoeva 103 Defined Buffer Brush. Whenever I feel like I need a little bit more coverage in certain areas, I'll just take my brush onto the stick and like press it in to any other areas. And it is such a beautiful match for me. This is the shade Cheesecake. Whenever I wear this as well, I always get so many compliments of like, what are you wearing on your skin as your foundation? So yeah, let me show you a close up actually. As you guys know, I love filming in natural daylight and this is what my skin is looking like. I of course have not set anything in place and I'm still gonna go in with a bit of a cream bronzer. Um, but yeah, this is what my skin is looking like. Hello, you wanna say hello? Come here. We're like saying hello. <laughs> we we'll say hello everyone. Hi, I just woke up from a snooze. Oh. <laughs> Before I start setting everything in place, I thought I'd go in with a cream bronzer because I love using creamy products when it comes to spring and summertime. So I'm taking the Milk matte bronzing stick and I'm gonna get that onto the usual areas where I like to bronze and blend that all out as well. That has blended out like a dream. I actually am really liking all the milk products that I'm using. I've, like I said earlier, I haven't really tried anything from the brand but so far I'm really really liking it. I don't know whether you guys can tell but it looks so nice and natural on my skin. It doesn't look too heavy, which is definitely something that I am like gearing towards. If you've been watching my videos recently, you'll probably know that, um, yeah, I'm all about like not the full, full coverage anymore. Really happy with the way that my skin's looking so far. And now I'm just gonna set everything in place using my trusty Laura Mercier setting powder. I'm just gonna get that onto all the areas where I basically applied my concealer. Um, and that's just gonna get everything nice and set in place and it's not gonna budge throughout the day. I think I'm just gonna finish the rest of my face now. And I think I'm gonna move on to bronzer next. And I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. This is in the shade Medium. I've had to crack a new one open because my last one I had basically have finished it and this is the best bronzer I've used it every single day almost since it came out last year and it just melts into your skin like an actual dream so I'm just gonna get this onto all the usual areas that I like to bronze up my face and that way it's also gonna set the cream bronzer that I've already got on my skin I'm gonna move on to blusher next and I'm gonna use my favorite V blusher in the shade cherub I love that this just melts into the skin and I'm gonna get this onto the apples for my cheeks I've very quickly filled in my brows and I used the Huda Beauty Balm Brows for this. I'm using the shade Rich Brown. And now I am going to set them in place using the Benefit Gimme Brow. And this is just gonna help all my hairs in my eyebrows not fly away. I generally get brows which like ping up, but this always helps keep them, keep them at bay. 
Now time for the pastel light. I'm going to take my Maddie and Morphe palette and I think I'm going to take the shade Mint and 5 and add that into the inner half of my eye and just make sure it's nice and blended and diffused out. And now I'm going to take the shades She Insist mixed with a little bit of Crushed and get that onto the outer halves of my eyes and just really nicely blend and diffuse all those shades out into each other. I feel like there needs to be a bit more of that lilac in the middle. So now I'm going to take the shade She Insists by itself and get that onto the center of my eye and make sure it's nice and blended out into everything else. I'm also adding a little bit of number five just to intensify the blue very slightly and make sure everything nicely blends into each other. I've just got my lashes on. So for mascara, I used the Urban Decay Lash Freak. And then lashes, I used the Huda Beauty Samantha Lashes and then also the Lash Glue. This is the sticky lash glue that is latex free. And now that my lashes are like on, I feel like the whole eye look totally comes together. I actually really, really like the way that it's turned out. Now all there's left to do is lips. So I'm gonna get my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner onto my lips. I'm gonna line them all and very, very slightly fill them in as well. And seeing as spring is almost on our doorstep, it is so nice and sunny outside right now. I'm just gonna go in with a gloss. I've got two glosses here and I'm kind of swaying towards this slightly pinky tone. This is called Wifey for Lifey. So I'm gonna get this onto my lips. And this is actually the Lip Injection Lip Gloss from Too Faced. Last but not least, I'm gonna get my Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Setting Spray and get that onto my face to make it nice and set and sprayed and glowy. And this, you guys, is the end of my spring get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have actually loved creating this pastel eye. I genuinely, genuinely love it when I have color on my eye, especially when it's got hints of lilac in it. I don't know whether you guys can tell, but lilac is like one of my favorite colors ever. I even wore it on my wedding day. <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All the products that I have used and mentioned will be in the description box, including all the brushes that I've used as well. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me, ready for spring. I hope you guys are all excited for the change and hopefully really positive changes that are going to come by in this year. But yeah, I think that's everything from me. I'd like to say a massive, massive thank you to Cult Beauty for partnering up with me for this video. I genuinely use them so much and to be able to work with them on YouTube and Instagram honestly means the world to me. And of course, none of this would happen without your guys' support. So a massive thank you to you guys as well. If there's anything that I forgot to mention, then I will leave it in the description box below. Um, but yeah, I hopefully will see you guys all in my next video i'm sending all of the love and light in my heart to you guys and yeah see you guys soon bye